Sebaceous filaments and blackheads are often confused because they can both appear as small dark spots on the skin, especially in areas like the nose. However, they are distinct in their structure and cause. In this video, we will help you understand the science behind both blackheads and sebaceous filaments so you know exactly what you are dealing with on your skin. First, we have blackheads, also known as open comedones. Blackheads are a type of comedone, clogged pore, that occurs when a pore gets clogged with a mixture of excess oil and dead skin cells. When the clogged material is exposed to air, it oxidizes and turns black or dark brown, hence the name blackhead. They are larger than sebaceous filaments and appear as dark or black dots, often more raised on the skin. They tend to occur in areas prone to excess oil production like the nose, forehead, and chin. Blackheads are caused by a buildup of oil, dead skin cells, and debris in the pore, often associated with oily skin or improper cleansing. Then we have sebaceous filaments. Sebaceous filaments are natural components of your skin's oil production. They are tiny tube-like structures that help channel sebum oil from the sebaceous glands to the skin's surface. They usually appear as small, slightly gray or yellowish dots in pores. They are most noticeable in oilier areas like the nose, chin or forehead. Sebaceous filaments are a normal part of healthy skin. Everyone has them, especially people with oily skin. They are more visible when the pores are filled with oil and dead skin cells. It's important to differentiate between sebaceous filaments and blackheads, as they are often confused due to their similar appearance. While sebaceous filaments are light gray or yellowish in color and have a softer texture, blackheads are darker in color and have a firmer consistency. Sebaceous filaments are a normal part of the skin's physiology and serve a vital function in maintaining skin health. Whereas blackheads are a type of acne lesion caused by the oxidation of sebum and dead skin cells trapped in the pores. Here's a guide on managing sebaceous filaments and blackheads, including helpful products and practices for clearer skin. First is the oil cleansing method. The oil cleansing method is a popular skincare technique that involves using natural oils to cleanse the skin and remove impurities, making it an effective solution for reducing sebaceous filaments and blackheads. This method works on the principle that like dissolves like, meaning that oil can effectively dissolve excess sebum dirt and makeup without stripping the skin of its natural oils. Common misconceptions about oil cleansing include the fear of causing breakouts or making the skin feel greasy. However, when done correctly, oil cleansing can actually help balance the skin's natural oil production and improve overall skin health. It's important to choose non-comedogenic oils and follow up with a gentle cleanser if needed to ensure thorough cleansing without residue. Next is using salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a powerhouse ingredient that is oil soluble and works at exfoliating the skin surface and penetrating deep into the pores to unclog them, making it a valuable tool in combating sebaceous filaments and blackheads. Additionally, salicylic acid has anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce redness and inflammation associated with acne and other skin concerns. When choosing salicylic acid products, it's important to consider the concentration for optimal results. For treating sebaceous filaments and blackheads, a concentration of 2% is typically recommended for home use. Look for products like cleansers, toners, serums, or spot treatments that contain salicylic acid in the appropriate concentration to target sebaceous filaments and blackheads effectively. To incorporate salicylic acid into your skincare routine, start by using it once to twice a week to allow your skin to adjust to the exfoliating effects. Gradually increase the frequency as needed, but be mindful of any signs of irritation or dryness. You don't need to exfoliate every day as this can lead to an impaired skin barrier, causing your skin more problems. It's important to follow up with a moisturizer and sunscreen as salicylic acid can make the skin more sensitive to the sun. Now long term, to reduce the recurrence of sebaceous filaments and blackheads, you want to be incorporating retinol into your skincare routine. Retinol helps remove dead skin cells and stimulates your cell production. It will also regulate your oil production to function at a normal level, the amount of your oil your skin is producing. If your skin can't tolerate retinol, you can try niacinamide instead to help regulate your oil flow. If you decide to use retinol in your routine, don't use it in the same application as your salicylic acid. 
use it on an alternative day. And finally, it's important you do not squeeze your sebaceous filaments. However, for persistent blackheads, it's safe to do extractions, but only with proper tools and technique. Alternatively, visiting a professional for a facial that includes blackhead extractions may prevent damaging your skin. By incorporating these methods into your skincare regimen, you can effectively treat blackheads and sebaceous filaments and achieve a smoother, clearer complexion. Let us know in the comments below if you have sebaceous filaments or blackheads. Now that you know about blackheads and sebaceous filaments, let's talk about how to get rid of all types of acne. For that information, we have put this video here for you to watch next.